Yo, point back, I'm back, y'all. And yeah, you know, like I said, this goes to family because people think they know everything. And see, a lot of times when you're going through problems, like me personally, I know that like, God gave me the servant that I knew as always. I knew it was like family and people spreading rumors behind my back as always. And see, this is the thing, you know, people spread rumors. And rumors that you're spreading, you know, if this person is bad man or bad woman, why would you want them around you at all? Or anything that you possess if they're bad? You understand? See, so... When God say run from the unclean thing, you know, like run from abomination, oh, I, I turn the other direction because I don't be around bad. You understand? But the point is this. See, the one thing I must say, people, principalities, and everyone else that claims, claim that about you, they know good when they see it because good, good comes from God. So, see, that's why they can never claim that you're bad. They always want you around. And that's why you run. You see, you said, listen, I don't associate with sinners. They choose to stay in sin because that, that, that shows that they don't honor the cross of Jesus. They don't honor the finished works and they don't honor, honor the Father God. And they don't honor the Holy Ghost, which is in with me, which is in with me, part me, which is in me, and which is why I speak and do what I do. So see, that's why you get departed away from. You understand? So see, you love the goodness that God, that I got, that God created. I mean, many of y'all love the goodness, you see? I don't like the goodness, the so-called goodness that Satan created within you. He created a, a, a very stingy, stingy outlook on life, a stingy outlook on life that just looks out for your family, just looks out for this one and that one, and then tries to put God last, you know, make God remedial and then make family so, so important. You know so I don't appreciate that, you understand? So remember, remember, Satan creates change the people remember you need a bunch of people to feel good that's what satan gives you you understand so why do you need me why do you need me because you don't understand that satan is coming into you and you don't realize i'm that one that belongs to god so see how you do that you already know that jesus christ died see all of you most of y'all know the name of jesus you know that jesus died and rose for you you understand but you don't really know it because you don't really understand it. you don't respect it you don't glorify it you don't praise it so right, that's what you. That's why you want me to represent. You want me to. You want me to preach it. To, but but you, but you. What you doing is you taking it in vain, like it's something like a, like it's just a motivational speech. Well, I'm not motivationally speaking to anybody. You understand? If you don't love God, if you don't glorify God, and you glorify something else, well, stay with what you're glorifying. It's like they said before, right? Remember, Jesus converted sinners. They didn't play the game of flirtation and staying in the sin. So don't feed me that. I'm gonna continue to love my God. And I'm gonna continue to love. Y'all, but I will not eat eating at your dinner tables. Remember that. If you don't accept Jesus, well then, you know what? You can't accept the servants either. And that's in Jesus' name. Peace.